Hello, welcome to our look at Simple View. Simple View is a new tool we've created for managing lots of uh, image files, TIFFs, PDFs, that sort of thing. Uh, it lets you work with them at, at, with very great speed. It's kind of like a, what, what Windows Explorer should do for you if it was actually programmed correctly. Uh, but starting off here, let's take a look at the, the website. And I just want to let you know that uh, if you go to the Imaging Suite and Simple View, We've actually got a breakdown of, of what all Simple View can do, and the important thing here for our purposes is to let you know that there is a free version of Simple View, and, a, and then there's the full paid version of Simple View, and this little grid gives you a breakdown of, of the, the different features you get in each one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the program, though. I'm going to close out of the browser. And I like to start actually in a Windows Explorer window because I can go to any folder in Windows Explorer. And let's say I just want to take a look at this My Documents folder. And if I right click on it, I get an option to browse with Simple View. And we'll give the program just a moment to fire up here. And there we go. We're in uh, Simple View and we're also directly in that My Documents folder, just like I said. Now you can see here that. Uh, the layout of Simple View is uh, pretty straightforward, but but what you should know is that um, all of this can be rearranged. All these tabs can float. Uh, the the default layout has uh, your your folder structure here, and then the files within that folder below, and then we get uh, thumbnails of each of those various files, and then this box gives us the pages within the files, and then finally we have a viewer. Now, what I like to do personally is actually take my viewer and float it out. And then I can go and I actually have a second screen that I normally run with. You can't see it in this video, but I would put that over on the second screen and just make it really big so that way my, my primary view of each page is just as large as I can possibly get. It makes it really easy to flip through the documents. But let's say I want to put this back. I've got all these uh, little buttons here. If I want to put it back on the right edge, I can just hover it to that button. Boom, it goes right back where it was. So there we go. Let's take a look at what some of Simple View tells us at a glance here. Um, for starters, I've got a indicator down here that there are 69 files in that folder. Um, up here at the top we've got a, a favorites location so if I have folders that I frequently refer to I can just add them to my favorites. So right now if I click the plus button that's now in the drop down list. It's one of my favorites. I can get back to it uh, every time I come back into Simple View. We have a slider here to, uh, to zoom in. and You can see the zoom level changing accordingly down here in the, uh, in the thumbnails. We can refresh our view, so if you've worked with some documents, made some more pages, that sort of thing, you can always uh, hit refresh. And then over here, we can we can actually move through with, within a document. So this particular one I have pulled up right now has two pages, and it'll move right through there. I can also zoom in to the actual, uh, to the page view, the lower slider there. And then this, this slider down at the bottom lets me zoom in within the viewer itself. So I can zoom in and out there. You've also got some controls just by clicking the buttons where you can zoom in. We can come back to one to one, so that's the full size of the document. We can go to the uh, to view the full height of the document or view the full width of the document right there. With our mouse actions, for example, I could put it on pan here, and let's go back to that one to one view, zoom, and now I can use my mouse to zoom around within the view. Right there. One of the more powerful features and one that I like a lot is the search bar over here. So I know, for example, in this folder somewhere I've got a document that refers to the CDIA program and I want to find that. And I, I'm telling SimpleView where I want to search based on which of these fields that I turn on. So right now it's telling me I want to look in a, within the folder and in the subfolder. I'm going to turn off subfolder here just so you can see how one turns off. And I'm going to go CDIA search. And the, the results over here in the file in the file viewer now show just the, the results of my search. So I can click on that one. Uh, it'll update the pages here. And I can also bring up the document in my viewer. We'll go back to fit the height. And one of the other things I can do is search for text within the document. So if I go in here and turn on the text mode, and I'll change my phrase up here to, let's say the word domain, I know appears in the document. I can search for that. And it'll take me to the next instance of the word domain. I can also go in and highlight the results. So I can tell it to go through and highlight the word domain anywhere that it appears. So right now what it's doing is going through this entire 300-page uh, document 
and it's going to find all those instances of the word domain and highlight them for me. And this, is, this could be a, a great example if you're using this uh, in like a, an accounting scenario and you need to go through and find the uh, social security number on a bunch of documents. You could go in and uh, actually using a regular expression search just find the, the terms that match that social security pattern, three digits, two digits, four digits, and then highlight all those results so you can get to them very quickly or redact them so that uh, other viewers can't see these social security numbers when they're on those documents. So you can see here the search was complete and it gave me 21 matches found on 10 pages. So if I move through the document now, those will be highlighted for me. Uh, the instances of the word domain, so there's domain highlighted again, and so on. Right, let's take a look at the next tab here. We have the edit tab, and on the edit, kind of the basic things you would expect. We can actually scan in a new document here or, or rescan a given page. So if we had scanned something in and a page of it didn't look right, we could rescan and it would just insert the page right wherever we're looking. Um, over here, we have some uh, controls for uh, kind of globally working with some of the pages. You can rotate left, rotate right. Uh, you can find all the blank pages in a document. So if you wanted to quickly go through and pull out all the blank pages, you could have a simple index or simple view rather, find them for you and uh, then you could remove those. Uh, you can also select all the odd pages or select all the even pages. Same scenario like if all the backs are known to be blank pages you could just select all of the even number pages and then you could uh, delete them. Uh, we can straighten up documents, we can click DSKU here and it will uh, straighten the speckle removes any of the, the noise you get sometimes from the scanning process. We can remove borders, so if you have your scans that come in, sometimes they go through the scanner and you get a little bit of a black edge around them, you can remove that. Uh, you can crop images, uh, so if they're a little bit oversized, uh, you, can, you can take them down to, to the image area only, and then of course you can delete pages. Split is a nice feature where we can actually take uh, several pages and, and remove them and uh, break it into two separate documents essentially. Merge is kind of the reverse of that. You can take uh, two documents and actually join them into one. And then export, you can take uh, a PDF or a TIFF file, for example. And let's say we just want to take like uh, five pages out of this 300-page document that I've got. So I could go in and, and uh, select multiple pages just doing the uh, holding down control here and selecting these extra pages. And then I go up here and I export. And it's going to prompt me, and I'm going to say uh, new PDF from CDIA and save. And so that'll export a new document. If I go back to my original My Documents folder here, we can scroll down, and there's my new PDF from CDIA. And you can see that it's uh, five pages, just like we extracted just then. We also have the option to uh, OCR a document, so if you want to do optical character recognition to convert that document into a full text document, that's what o where OCR comes in. And we have some conversion options here, so we can, uh, if it's in one format, we can save it out in another, essentially. And then uh, you can email, so I could just take a document and uh, attach it to an email, so it'll just open up a new message and have the document as an attachment. And then you have your usual copy and paste sort of options like you would find with any program. Over here on the properties, this lets us do some powerful things, especially if you're wanting to try and standardize all of your files. So we can uh, we can resample an image. So if you got them in from various sources and they were at different resolutions and you needed them to all be at one, you could resample the document, convert everything to uh, from a, a 300 DPI document to a 200 DPI, so that everything is standardized. Uh, you can also convert to black and white. So if you're doing a lot of just working with just text-based documents, you don't need color in there, and you don't need the files to be that big. You can convert everything to, uh, to black and white. And then on our annotations page, you can uh, add a text box as a call-out, different shaped images you can put on there, lines, polygons, rectangles, uh, rubber stamps. You can set up rubber stamps so that you can mark something as received, for example, and just stamp that on there. And uh, you can add just uh, text annotations and then here's your options for setting up the different uh, properties of your of your lines or your fills or, or, or your text boxes for example 
And then uh, uh, finally we'll talk about, just up here at the top, you have just some uh, shortcuts. So if you have different uh, features from any one of the, the tabs that you like to use normally, you can actually just drag them up here. So for example, if I wanted the convert black and white property from my properties tab to be up here, I could uh, add it to the quick access toolbar and you'll see it shows up right there. So now I can get to that anytime I want to from any of these pages. And of course you can remove things from it uh, just as well, or you can completely uh, hide the quick access toolbar if you don't like it up there. So that's kind of a general overview of uh, Simple View, and as always, we're happy to help with anything. Our products do come with free trials, uh, and this product itself comes with a free edition. So if you have any questions, please contact us. Thanks.